Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tarek Salem and uh, I'm come back after absence of a, a long time and today I will talk about very important thing in web development and very useful thing and it's some related to artificial intelligence or machine learning and this thing is related to speech and translate your speech into a text so if you if you use google translate or anything like that you'll see that google you speech you have the ability to speech and google translate you you speech into a text and the thing we will do today and um, this thing is uh, a native api in web API in Google Chrome and uh, Firefox and for that we will use to accomplish this task we will use JavaScript and to make a speech to text to translate our speech into text you can make very cool things so cool things you can make uh, them in your website using this feature and uh, some of these you can change the background of the website using the speech to text so let's get started i'm in visual studio code and you will need a, a visual studio code to create a server automatically so because native abi of uh, speech to text needs a host uh, to work on so i'm in visual studio code and i installed uh, an extension called live server the extension name is live server and you can install it and just come here and we will create a new file called index.html and inside it I will put some basic HTML content and the title I will remove this uh, style sheet because we don't need that and in title I will say speech to text app and after that I will just link and script file and uh, define the source attributes will be and it will be app.js and save it and create a new file called app.js and just here we'll define a new variable and we will call it as a const const uh, speech to text will equals window dot speech recognition or window dot webkit speech recognition and here we will say so the the speech recognition is in class instantiated and the class or object inside the window object. So we will define it and grab it in this variable and now we will create a new class for that. So we will say const speech abi will equals new and put this name speech to text and just that okay and but we, we can make uh, something beautiful than that so we will create a new class this class we will define it as uh, speech recognition ABI and we will define the constructor and the constructor will contain some uh, some robbers inside it so the first one will be will be this we will define it inside this constructor and then instead of defining a const we will define we will say this and this here refers to this class speech recognition ABI which we created and define a new instantiate from this class and then we will define some properties so we have in HTML we have make something 
like dev and call it output or we can make it as a text area and text area and also we will make two parts the first one will be to start uh, recording so we will define it and give it a class called dot dash start and copy it and define it as button dash end so now we will grab the output element so we will define here uh, an options as a parameter and we will say this dot out box will equals options dot out bot if it exists we will define it as options dot out bot and if not we will create a new element so we will say document dot create element and define it as a dev a dev okay after that we will make something like init and this will be a method in our class called init uh, this will be a, something like event will be triggered when uh, the button start is clicked so now we will say this dot speech avi dot start and this is a method inside speech avi class and we will make also a new method called stop and we will fire stop event of speech avi so we'll say spe this to speech avi dot stop here we'll make also something define some properties to this speech avi the first one will be this dot speech avi dot continuous will equals and this will equals true or false and the default value of it is false and the false means your speech and once you stop speech the event stop will be triggered and the recording will be end and to record again you should click on this part so we, we don't want that so we will define it as true to continue recording even we stop speech and the second one will be this dot speech dot abi dot interim result and the default value of it is false and false means interim result means once you uh, start speeching this will be outputted a result of your speech but we want to define it as false because we want to take the final result just so we will t trigger to take this speech into text you, we will trigger a, a function called this dot speech dot abi and this function is called on result with equals function and this function has a parameter called event we'll define a variable called result index will equals event dot result index and result index uh, event is an object result index is a property inside this object and this retains the index of the final result of the final a uh, uh, final speech and after that we have an array inside event called results so we will define another variable called transcript will equals event dot results and this is an array and we will pass here the result index to get the the only final result and this will return an array so we will take the, the first one of it and dot transcript to make the to take the text to catch the text of the result and then we will say this dot output dot text content will equals transcript 
and just that and here we'll say window dot on load will equals function to so define a new function for that and here we will say we will define or instantiate uh, this class so we will say variable speech will equals new speech recognition this class and here we will define an object is this parameter is options and we have to define the output element will be we will say output will be document the query selector to get the element the class of it will be dot output and after that we will trigger two events two events listener so the first one will be document dot query selector and catch this element uh, button dash start and button dash end the button dash start dot add event listener to listen and click to listen for clicking and there are call back function we will say speech dot init to start recording and the second one will be document dot query selector and the bar dash end to end recording and dot add event listener and it will be a click when when we click on it and we will make a callback function to handle it and the callback will we will call this method stop we will say speech dot stop and just that save this file and go to index.html and to run a local server we just click uh, on the right button of mouse and here we will say open with live server after installing the extension we will see open with live server and just click on it and go to this port and oh, in pulse we will say hey just start recording and here we will say and recording and save it reload it reloads automatically and we will put some styles here to give a style for the output text area so we say style tag and have dot output and then display block and width will be 80 percent and the height will be 400 pixels and the margin will be 32 and here we will be, I think, 50 pixels, or two. and save it, reload, and here the, this will be the output, and here we will say, we will click on the start recording, and it started actually, or oh, actually it works, and it works right now, so we will reload it, and just say, start recording, and please write this please and actually there is something wrong in continuous event we will we will define it to true and uh, I wrote it wrong it should be con continuous to continue speaking and reload it and uh, I will click and talk so Please start writing this. Actually, write this.
and if you see you will see that every time I, I talk it it's recording permanently and every time I talk it removes the previous talking and puts the new talking if I wanna add that to continue adding the speech into the, the previous text so I should do something like that so I will plus equals to add more and more and reload it start recording please write this hello world welcome and welcome back again and everyone here hear me actually this is amazing and as you see when you speak it's translate the speech into a text and you can do amazing things using that but and I put all my code inside at last to use it more and more without confusing and just in everything inside the class contains wrapped inside a class so this is a, a amazing thing and uh, if you wanna me make uh, new videos to make advanced things about that and uh, tell me in the comments and thank you for watching me don't forget to make subscribe and like and uh, comment if you need anything and thank you